Coach, let's talk about uh, Travis Munnings. Scored in double figures now in 12 consecutive games. Winds up being uh, named to the second team all-conference. Really played well down the stretch for you. He did. And, uh, you know, over the last month, uh, John, uh, he's been very good. And uh, it's had a lot to do with uh, us winning eight out of our last 11. And uh, he's been steady. And uh, he had a good conference season. I think he's very well deserving of a second team selection. I really do. Sam McDaniel, I know you're proud of the fact that he's seen the fruits of his labor, really worked hard during the offseason to improve his outside shot, really became a factor shooting the threes for you. He made third team. We, we've said this in some you know previous weeks ago when he made uh, Sunbelt Player of the Week, uh, uh, how proud we are of him uh, because of his improvement, because of his work ethic last spring and summer. Really got in the gym, worked on his shooting, because uh, he didn't shoot it as well uh, last year one of the leading three-point field goal percentage shooters in the league this year. Uh, you know, you're proud of that kind of work. And so for him to be selected by the other coaches, a third-team selection, it's very well-deserving as well, and we're very happy for him. Michael Ertle, really, when you think about from day one to now, how much he's grown. Or initially, when he first got he was just a three-point shooter. Other aspects of his game has come around. And sometimes it's rare, too, but he really never hit that freshman wall like so many do. But being named freshman of the year, I know you're really proud of his efforts. Yeah, Michael Ertl, uh, we haven't had a freshman of the year award since we've been in the Sun Belt Conference. And and so it's our first and, and uh, really proud of him. And, and uh, you know, the, the neat thing about Mike is that we watched him get better during the year. Uh, it, we didn't have, we didn't, weren't able to get to an off season. He he improved during the year. He improved during conference play, and uh, you can see his confidence grow. He really uh, developed an ability to play off the dribble, get in there and make some mid-range shots and some buckets uh, uh, all the way at the rim. Made some timely three-point shots in in conference play and and. Uh, uh, really, really neat to watch. I mean, he, he, for a freshman, he had an outstanding year. John really did, and uh, so happy for him. You know, he's from Indianapolis, Indiana. Came all the way from there, and and uh, to see him grow not only on the court but off the court, and you know, so far away from home, and and you seeing him settle in his home now. This is his home now, and and uh, it's been the whole experience with him has been really good. I know there was a sour taste in everybody's mouth after losing on senior day to Arkansas State. The fact that they're now the first round opponent in the Sun Belt Tournament, the quick turnaround probably helps from a preparation standpoint. Yeah, I, I don't mind playing Arkansas State again. Uh, it's fresh on our minds. And, and, and from a preparation standpoint, from a game planning standpoint, uh, you know, it's good for the coaches. We can dig into it and, and uh, really decipher, you know, what we didn't do well early, what we did better in the second half, all those type things to formulate uh, a plan moving forward. And, you know, sometimes when you hadn't played somebody in a six or seven weeks, you got to go back and you got to research and research and research. And uh, But that's not the case here. And, uh, you know, I don't mind who we play, but the fact that we're playing them, uh, just having just played them Saturday is okay by me, and uh, we'll be ready to play. You mentioned earlier winning eight out of the last 11. Your team played awfully well over the last six weeks of the season. So they have to know going in, though, if they shoot the ball well and do the little things, they've got a chance. Well, you know, I was just telling somebody else, you know, one of the things that stuck out the most during uh, that streak that, that we had and, and winning eight out of 11 is we did shoot the ball well. And, you know, many of those nights we, we shot, we made double figure three point shots and, 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 but we got those by also by Michael Ertl being able to score a little bit off the dribble, Jordan Harris to get in there a little bit off the dribble, and and uh, and opening up that you know outside for us. And and uh, we've got to do that in this tournament. Uh, we're not our team's not built right now uh, to not shoot the ball well and still win. I think we did it once, maybe at South Alabama. We hadn't done it very often. Uh, all our shining moments and good moments have been when the offense is flowing and the floor spread and, and uh, you know, Sam and Travis are making threes and, and, and that type thing. And we need to do that. And uh, we just need to do it four more times <laughs> and uh, as we go down to New Orleans. Sam, I know you were disappointed with the way senior day went, losing Arkansas State. But now the quick turnaround and face them in the first round of the tournament, uh, probably looking forward to another chance at those guys. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity, you know, uh, playing them twice in the season, losing twice. Um, we're definitely hungry. You know, we know we know what we can do to, to beat them this time, hopefully. 
You guys played awfully well over the last six weeks of the season, winning eight out of 11 games. If your shots are falling, you can play with anybody in this league. Do you guys take some confidence in the tournament, knowing you've done it before down the stretch? Exactly, yeah. Um, I think the last you know, 11 games, like you said, have been really good. Uh, guys are getting confidence in their shot, and I think that's really what's been the big difference. You know, we're just making the open shots. Talk about uh, Michael Ertl being named Freshman of the Year in the Sun Belt Conference. A lot of times freshmen will kind of hit a wall at some point in time. With him, he never really did that. But to see the growth of his game from day one until now, I'm sure you're awfully proud of the progress he's made. Yeah, for sure. I'm real, real proud of Mike. Uh, I also know how much work he puts in. Uh, I see him in here every day working on his game. So um, I'm just really happy for him. This is definitely well deserved as well. So. I know that you don't want your career to end here. Uh, they talk about March being one and done time. Is there a sense of urgency now as you go to New Orleans, knowing that you got to lay it all on the line? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's been a sense of urgency for me my whole season. Um, being a senior, obviously, this is my last opportunity to play um, college basketball. So, so for me, you know, it's just been the same all season. But going into the tournament, uh, I think the guys are definitely taking take this one, you know, real serious as well. So you're in third team all conference honors. Keith Richard talked about how hard you worked in the offseason and the preseason to improve your game. Are you just satisfied the fact that uh, for all that effort you finally were recognized for the way you performed on the stretch? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's definitely an honor to be named uh, in the third team. Um, but for me, it's not about the, the individual stuff. You know, I just want to win. And hopefully, going to New Orleans, uh, we got a few wins under our belt and some guys are playing well. Hopefully, we can, we can keep winning over there as well.